Good evening, I'm Kanika Lal here with this week's Awesome Brighton Report. A vigil was held last night for Boston University grad student Chris Weigel. Weigel, 23, was killed Thursday morning while riding his bike to class. A member of BU's photojournalism program, Weigel will be remembered as a humble, talented young artist. This is the fifth bike-related fatality in Boston this year and the second involving a BU student. The City Council held a hearing on bike safety yesterday afternoon, organized by City Councilor at Large, Ayanna Presley. Turning to local crime news, four men are being held on $100,000 bail for their alleged roles in a Brighton home invasion. According to The Globe, Peter Matthews, 18 of Brighton, and Anthony Gilbert, 19 of Alston, were arraigned on charges of home invasion and armed assault at Brighton District Court on Monday. Ricardo Delis, 18 of Brockton, and Leon McCoy, 19 of Dorchester, were arraigned on the same charges last Friday. A plea of not guilty was automatically entered on behalf of all four men, according to a spokesman for the District Attorney's Office. Also on the crime front this week, Patrick Malone, 21, is being held without bail for allegedly shooting another man to death in Brighton, less than one month after he was charged with cocaine trafficking and ordered by a judge to wear a GPS monitoring bracelet. According to The Globe, Malone faces charges of murder and armed robbery in the November 19th killing of Leroy Cooper, 26, of Brewster. The GPS device placed him at the scene of the murder, but surveillance footage and witness interviews were also used as evidence. Authorities say they are continuing to investigate the incident and ask anyone with information to call the homicide unit at 617-343-4470. Tips can also be left anonymously by texting the word TIP to 27463. Finally tonight, a celebration took place in Brighton this week to commemorate the year-long partnership between Boston's public school system, charter schools, and Catholic schools. This collaboration will continue thanks to a $3 million grant from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. The money will provide more teacher training, especially for English language learners. There will also be more help with navigating the student assignment process. Well, that's news tonight from Alston Brighton. I'll be back in two weeks with more news from the neighborhood.